Hi, this is Justin with the eBuyLine support team, and I'll be walking you through the eBuyLine Payments WordPress plugin today. First, I'm going to log in as the administrator of my WordPress blog, and we'll be right at the dashboard, and just make sure that under our plugins that we have the eBuyLine Payments activated and ready to go. Now post is where we'll see most of the differences. And we see that eBalance Payments has added two columns to our posts, the fee and the status columns. And uh, for the fee column, that's set per, uh, per post, and we'll get right back to that. And the status column just simply uh, gives the status of whether or not it's been paid or whether or not it requires action. So let's create a new post. And here it looks it looks exactly the same as a regular uh, post, and then we can add um, whatever content we would like. Now, the eBuyLine Payments widget is down here, and here we can enter a fee for our freelancer. I'll put in 50, and I'll hit save. So the post has been updated. I'll take a look back down here, and I can see that I have the option to pay. But before I do that, I'd like to go out to posts again. Look at the post and I want to make sure that it's going to the right person so I'll hit quick edit and I'll choose an author whoever set up as an author or a contributor or as an editor type of user will be able to receive payment hit update now we see that the pay now button is also here the pay now button will pay for the post and will pay out to the author and we'll need to log in as a uh, eBuyLine user now if you're not already an eBuyLine user, we can sign up for free here. And here we can enter in our account information, whatever organization that we represent, and as well as billing information for the payment. But if you already have an account, then we can log in using our eBuyLine account credentials. And here we are at the Please Confirm Payment page. The article title here, the approver, and the organization you represent. And we see the fee is not 50 because the payments charge is added onto it. We can still edit the fee here if we choose to do so. If this person is not the person that you intended to pay the fee to, then we can always change it. So here we can choose from any one of the freelancers on eBuyLine, or we can enter in an email address of a new user and send that person an invitation to register with eBuyLine and to receive your payment. And we then we hit pay now and then we'll receive a confirmation email and the freelancer will also receive a confirmation email.